get out of here. Like, Listen, you're in my office. You don't tell me to get out of my office. This is the people's office in the people's building. The people pay the bills here. Your laptop's on because the people pay for it. Go on. Oh. Not going to happen. I'm, I'm working on my story. Oh. Shh. I mean, shh. 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 You're interrupting me. Shh. Yeah, that's what you Come on. That's how you behave? Come on. Get out. Put your hands on me, man. I put your hands on me. I'll throw you out. Hey, you will? Would you like to hold? You go ahead and hold this phone. You're going to act violent, so you know where you're going to go? A jail cell is shortly after the defense. So. Can you guys just go go find somebody else that is amused Shh. by your freaking journalism? Andrew, sit down. No. Sit down. Sit down. Now that we've gone through Andrew's idle threats and threats of violence, now we're going to have to go. Okay, close the door, Andrew. Huh? Close your door, Andrew. Close it. Close your mouth when you're talking to me. Yeah. What about that? What about that? That mayor? Is he? A, is he a good mayor? Can you guys go. I got work to do. No, I can't go. I'm good right here, though. I appreciate you asking. Um, so, what about that mayor, though? Like, is he? Is he a good mayor for the people? Go. No, this is a public office, so I can't be trespassed. I haven't committed a crime, so. Engaging in a constitutionally protected activity, gathering content for a story, and you know, your job is to assist the people. So, I'm asking you about your office and Where your do mayor. You live? I live at my house. Thanks okay. for asking. No, I, no. At this point, I'm just willing to take his job or an apology. Um, and and uh, you know, for the people that don't apologize, I do follow through. Um, so, if he's willing to apologize for his behavior, then I will not submit a Freedom of Information Act request for him. For his salary, his employment contract, his oath of office, his dates of employment, I will not file a complaint on him, and I will not take his job from him. Would you allow me to go speak with him? Before? Absolutely. And so you've met Mr. McPherson. We have. Hello. Yes. Well, just going to apologize. Sorry, I got agitated. So. All right. Now let me ask you a fair question, and, and I want you to be honest because I appreciate honesty more than anything else. Would you have apologized, or is it more, are you doing it because you're concerned that your job might be at risk? Or are you apologizing because you think that you did something wrong? No, I guess I did something wrong. I wish I, you guys had identified yourself a little better, but I didn't no idea who you were. And I appreciate now it. Now I do know who you are, so I apologize. And that, that takes big... Remember that clause in the Constitution that says, no titles of nobility shall be awarded or recognized? Meet the mayor of Waterville, Maine. Jay Coelho. And this is a picture of an oil painting that actually hangs in his office. He appears in a throne-like chair with an expensive mink coat and a staff. It appears a lot like oil paintings of English rulers. It's clear he sees himself as your overlord and king. But besides that, he sees himself as a viral TikToker. Jay Coelho is the highest paid mayor in Maine. He makes $7,000 a month and he's only part-time. What's worse than his inflated opinion of himself and his ego is his professionalism. He uses his TikTok channel to mock his constituents. This is one of his videos where he's playing the world's smallest violin. That's his response to being unprofessional. Obviously, that's why his employees are unprofessional. However, he was not available to be reached for comment because while his employees were attacking people, he was busy playing the world's smallest violin while not caring about your opinion while TikToking in Key West. If you're really concerned about the view, Jay, let's get you a different one. One that doesn't look out the mayor's office. Spoiler alert, we showed some of his employees his videos. They didn't see them, they were uncomfortable by them, and they thought they were entirely inappropriate. This part-time mayor, full-time cell phone repair guy wasting your money should worry more about getting his house in order and less time worrying about TikTok. What's going on guys? We're at the Waterville Town Hall in Waterville, Maine with Leroy Truth Investigates. Uh, the mayor here, very outspoken, likes to consider himself viral on TikTok. I believe his channel name is the real Maine mayor. Um, very unprofessional. Seems like an absolute... Yeah, fill in the blank. Let's take a look. The walkway is totally ice slicked. You should worry less about TikTok and more about people's safety. So 
That's him. Well, I'm good, thank you. Not too bad. How you doing? Good. Uh, yeah, thanks. Can I help you with something? Or no, I'm no, good. Just, okay, just I'm looking. Good. Thanks okay. so much. Okay, you're welcome. Are you together? I know. No. What can I help I've never seen this man in my life. Never what are you doing here? I wouldn't hang out with someone like him anyways. I wouldn't. He doesn't have a tie on. Like, what the hell? I only have people with ties. Where's your tie? Or are you tie? No. I am not, and I don't have a tie. Oh, we have a smiling person way in the back. Is that Brittany? Is that Brittany? It is Brittany. Brittany, you are both lovely. Right, Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you today? Good. You don't have to get up. You're fine. I'm just taking off your hand. Thanks very much. Is this where it is? What do you think about um, the mayor? Are you, a, are you a fan? You like him? Yeah, he's really nice. Have you watched some of his TikTok videos? I have. They are kind of funny, a little silly sometimes, but what, what about he's got a sense of humor. What about the ones where he's talking about knocking people out or that uh, he considers the people's, the people's opinions of him as a small violin? Oh, I have not seen I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry. We gotta watch that. We just saw that over here. We were quite taken aback. Well, I'll have to check it out. I, I, I would suggest that he be less worried about TikTok and more worried about laying some ice down at the base of the stairs because Is it it's there? a total yeah. ice slip. Oh, I will call Dan and let him know to put some. Salt well, I mean, down. if he's got all this extra time for TikTok, maybe he can do it, and we can show the people that he's not just. You that know, is worried. a great idea. I think yeah, we'll that, go that, ask him. That would be a great use of public. I mean, I know he, he considers the people's thoughts like that, and he actually put the little violin effect in oh, there. Too. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks so much. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Hello. What was that? Sorry. I said hello. Okay. What's this office? Oh, that's the back one oh, back there. And a bit of Hello. Can I help you? No, I'm all set, thanks. Mm -hmm. he's, he's not in, he's probably doing a TikTok video. He's actually in Florida. Take a look at this, look at this. That says it all right there. Oh, look at this. That says it all. That's what he considers himself a... Uh, King, emperor. Yeah. I, I hear you laughing. Well, you it, it, may, it, it, may, it makes sense. Did you see his TikTok video where he was reacting to people's, uh, to the public's opinions about him and he played a little small violin? No. No? no. Do you think that's professional? I don't, I don't watch what about, what about What about him saying that he'll knock someone out and swearing? Do you think that's professional? I mean, you know what? Actually, it would take too long for me to find it. Oh, there it is right there. I'm so silly. <laughs> What do you think about? Can you catch these hands? What do you think about that? You seem so professional. Everyone we met here has been so friendly and professional. Oh. So when we saw that, we were. Well, that's right. We, we got to check this place out. You. Like, do you know the U.S. So and then there's the one where he's playing the tiny, tiny, small violin because, you know, it's just the people. Yeah, I know he does a lot of TikToks. But... Yeah. Should you worry, that... worry less about TikTok, more worry about getting that ice slick at the bottom of the stairs fixed yeah. that people are slipping over. Yeah, when we were here, here, we were yeah. slipping like. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'll a penguin our, in the Arctic Circle. Yeah, I'll let our maintenance. Look at, look at, you know, and I'm going to take a picture for the other uh, town selectmen's that actually sent us over here. Right. Yeah. And the, the king. The emperor. Now that is a pick. That's a pick. Yeah. Yeah. I had, a, I had a feeling this guy was no good. I haven't figured that out. Hello. How are you? Not too bad. What's going on here? Just work. Excellent. Glad to hear it. I mean, at least you're working. It seems like Joe took off to Florida to make some TikTok videos, so he doesn't care much about his job, but it's good to see that you do. Well, I'm working away. Good, good. Yeah, so what do you think about him uh, saying that he'd like to knock people out and that his, you know, as far as his concern for the public's opinions about him is 
playing a small violin. What do you think about that? Well, he's an elected mayor, so I don't really have an opinion as to what he does. I mean, that's... So, that's and, and, a, and a mayor works for the people, certainly not an overlord or a king in any capacity, right? He's elected by the people. Yeah, and he has a, a painting, a portrait of himself in his office with a post cane sitting like he's royalty. Again, it's he was an elected mayor, so you know, that's that's up to him as to what he does. Well, it's, it's, so. that's the thing; it's up to us. Like you know what I mean? Like the public, that he not behave in such an atrocious fashion. Well, like I said, yeah. he's an elected mayor, so I'm just here to do. I mean, he's got time for TikTok. He got time for for being fun in the sun. Doesn't have time to keep people from breaking their necks outside on the ice. But you know, yeah. we really appreciate well, it. Issue out there, we'll certainly take oh, yeah, care we, we told uh, someone. Told and, everyone. We're letting yeah, everyone yeah, know. We, we still well, make like, sure on we the way out because you've been your professional. Everyone else has been professional. We saw some of his TikTok. You're very concerned. Like this doesn't look like a professional person who would be, you know, representing the town. Mm. Well, if there's an issue with the ice, we certainly will take care of that. Yeah. Appreciate letting us know. Appreciate it. Thanks yeah. very much. Yeah. All right. Good night. A couple people been in here filming before, huh? I. I haven't seen them no. today or recently. No, no, I mean, but but in the past. Oh, I'm sure there has been. Yeah, yeah. I've only been here for about eleven months. So. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, All welcome. Right. Thank you. Welcome. Almost uh, your first year anniversary. Welcome, Come welcome, right. welcome to hell uh, the, <laughs> with your overlord, the mayor. Welcome to the kingdom of Lordish. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm sorry. Can I help you? I was just asking, how are you? I'm okay. And who are you? Good to hear. I'm me. I'm me in French. I'm moi. I'm me and moi. Me and moi. Okay. What can I do for you? Um, we're just taking a, taking a couple pictures, checking everything out. Okay. How's the how's the mayor? Is he a good boss? He's a good guy, yeah. If he's not in here, he would be in his no. office. He's not in his office either. You know where he is? No, I don't. Florida. Key West, maybe, on no. the beach. Yeah, no, he's on vacation doing TikTok videos. Yeah, I don't. Have you heard some of the language in his TikTok videos? I don't. Your boss, the mayor, that's an elected official, let me put it this way. Don't play his TikTok videos if you have small children that you don't want repeating oh my goodness. bad words. Talking about knocking people out. Do you do you do you, do you think I'm fibbing? Do you think I'm? I don't. I don't do TikTok. So well, I just just so you know, you know, just because you know he's he's an elected official, and this is you know, this is his behavior. Um, he likes to play catch. I ask him. That's him, right? Catch these hands. He said yes, so I fucking hit him. What is the problem? He likes to play catch. That's I, on his TikTok page. It's right after the video where he where he refers to people's feedback about him, and there's a violin playing in the background, and he goes like that. Do you think? Would you would you play his TikTok I, around I don't small do children? TikTok. No, I don't do t TikTok, and I'm, I'm trying to work here. Yeah, yeah. Like tough questions. I know. I get it. I get it. I'm just saying. Do you think what I just played you from your boss, the mayor, would you be okay with that playing around small children? I. Uh, I'm not going to play it around small children. Uh, right. Because it would be a bad example, right? I, I don't need to comment on the mayor's behavior. I'm trying to do yeah. my work here, so... Okay. No, I was just I was just conversating because you offered if you could help us, so we just asked you a couple well, questions. Well, I offered to help you because yeah. you came into my office. Yeah, no, well, that, well, we, came into our, we came into our office. We came into our office. No, no, I understand. We office. came into our office, yeah. Well, pardon me if I continue working. In That's why, no, please, go ahead. You know, we're not upset with you. We're just... He's your boss, or you're just asking well, if you... Well, he's actually my boss's boss, so if you want to see my boss, he's Bill Post, and he's in the other room. We spoke to him, too. I mean, well, technically, I mean, you know, the White House chief of, Steve, chief of staff, his boss would be... He has a boss's boss, right? But he's still... So reports to the president. Well, we appreciate it. Thanks so much. Okay. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Careful on TikTok. We don't want you... Mm. Have a good day. Hey, you too. Mm -hmm. No one home there. They're all in Florida. The They're all in Florida, yeah. Party, do whatever that mayor does. Oh, yeah. The guy with one letter. Do we see all the offices here? We gotta go upstairs then? Yeah, there's always suspect. One letter for a person. 
Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not happy to be honest with you with the behavior. Yeah, most people that work here actually wouldn't play that TikTok near around their kids just because it's so. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> Hello, how are we doing? How are you today? Good, who are you? Hey, hello. I'm, I'm me. What are you up to? Making uh, sure the work's done there? Yeah. Perfect. People getting good service here today? Public's getting good representation today? Who are you with? Yeah, I'm with him. Who are you? I'm with him. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're both together. We came, yeah. came separately, but are currently together now. But not so, together, together. Not together like that, which would be fine if we were, because it's, yeah, you know, it's not, no judgment. And no, no, no judgment, but yeah, just trying to answer your question in as much detail as possible. That wasn't much. Oh. <laughs> Pretty much gave you the whole rundown. What else would you like to know? What's on your badge there? Uh... I'm an investigative journalist. Investigative journalist? It's Leroy Truth Investigations. Yeah, he investigates the truth. Looking for the truth. How are public officials act and. Are they transparent? Are they corrupt? Are they representing the people properly? Do they act like emperors and kings and do TikTok dances? And why don't you, do you want to come down and see the city manager? Oh, we were already down there. Yeah, we wanted to see yeah. him actually, but we heard. What about that? What about that? That mayor? Is he? Uh, is he a good mayor? Yeah. You guys go. I got work to do. No, I can't go. I'm good right here, though. I appreciate you asking. Um, so, what about that mayor, though? Like, is he is he a good mayor for the people? Go. No, this is a public office, so I can't be trespassed. I haven't committed a crime, so I'm engaging in a constitution protected activity, gathering content for a story, and you know, your job is to assist the people, so I'm asking you about your office Where and your do mayor. You live? I live at my house. Thanks okay. for asking. No, I, how about what town? Uh, it's, it's not a town, it's a city. Okay, what city? It's next door to the three neighboring cities that I border on. Well, then I don't work for you then. <laughs> so you can leave. Oh, you do. Town. You do. Because, what, this place receives federal taxes and federal assistance, and I pay federal taxes, and you do work for the people. I mean, my question is pretty simple. We would have been out of here already. I was just asking you if the, if the mayor is a good mayor for the people. That's all, man. I don't know. I've... I've well, we met, probably talked to him three times in my life. I don't. I'm an engineer, so I don't really get involved with yeah. the politics. Well, just yeah, we're just asking folks because you know he's you know instead of being in the city right now and making sure that you know the walkway isn't slick with ice with people falling all over it, he's doing TikTok videos in Florida talking about knocking people out and making fun of the citizens that he represents. So I was just you know asking folks what they. Well, I've never seen any of that. So. Get, okay, guess what I got. Maybe I don't know, and it's probably the wrong guy. You know, it's probably it's probably not him. It's probably not him. He likes to play catch. Is that him? I asked him, can you catch these That's hands? Him. He said yes, so I fucking hit him. What is the problem? He likes to play catch. I asked him, can you catch these hands? He said yes, so I fucking hit him. What is the problem? What do you What do you think about that? What do you guys think about leaving? I'm not really thinking about it right now, to be perfectly right. honest. Yeah, let me get a hold of the cops and then we'll be taken out. Uh, how much you want to bet that won't happen? Do you want to Do you want to make a bet on that, sir? Yeah. Well, it's, it's good. If you don't bet, you can't lose, and you wouldn't be losing this one. Threaten to call the cops on American citizens in a public building. What's your name? Because now we can go do a records request. Yeah, go to the records request. I can wait a second. I don't need to run there. Yeah, I'm not sure why people call the cops all the time. Yeah. Instead of just, you know, men hashing it out and just, you know, communicating. Yeah. We're completely nonviolent, no ill will. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't tell me who the hell you are. You I don't have to identify you. to you. If you, you ask me who I don't I have to give up my Fourth Amendment right to make you feel special and warm inside. Do you no. get that? 
I just have this, some things here that might be confidential. And, and I'm not looking at your paperwork. I don't care for you your paperwork or what's on it. It has a film and everything. And guess what? Uh -huh. This is the people's building. We have every right to film something, everything, nothing. We have freedom of the press. We're journalists gathering content for a story. We've even been kind enough to explain to you part of that story. And you're trying to tell us that our right to be secure in our persons, our papers, and our effects, and to have to answer your questions or be secure in the limitation of our answers under the Fifth Amendment, we need to do that because you like to feel warm and cozy and cuddly inside. Do you want my ID, man? Can I, can I give you my ID or my birth certificate? I don't even want it. What about my social security number? My firstborn child? Would you like that? Okay. Well, I just didn't know if there was anything else you wanted. Like, if I'm going to give up one of my rights for you to feel good, I'll give up all of them. Yeah. I'm going to have to go do a record. So what's your name, man? I don't have one. You don't have a name? No. Oh, well, that's interesting. Your mother hated me. I must have been a tough birth. Well, I mean, I can, enough for nothing, I can kind of understand her sentiments just a bit. Well, this name for people who have no name is called Seminon. Yeah. There's no names backwards. We're going to have to figure out this gentleman's name so we can do our records request. He's trying to prohibit the Freedom of Information Act request. Right. We're just here in a public building, in a public, right, publicly accessible area. Right? Oh, there it is. Andrew. Andrew McPherson. There we go. Andrew McPherson is the one that's trying to violate our rights today. Yeah, just, just so. just, you know, I'm going to go do uh, a records request. Okay, then, yeah, go. Go do that. Get out of here. Like, listen, uh, you're in my office. You don't tell me to get out of my office. This is the people's office in the people's building. The people pay the bills here. Your laptop's on because yeah, the people on. pay for it. Go on. Oh. Working on my story. Well, shh. I mean, shh. 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 You're interrupting me. Shh. You're not a fucking weirdo. That's what you like. Come on. That's how you behave? Come on. Get out. Put your hands on me, man. I'll put your hands on me. I'll throw you out. Hey, Will. Would you like to hold? You gotta hold this phone. You're gonna act violent, so you know where you're gonna go? A jail cell shortly after the time. So. Can you guys just go go find somebody else that is, is amused Shh. by your freaking journalism? Andrew, sit down. No. Sit down. Sit down. Now that we've gone through Andrew's idle threats and threats of violence, now we're going to have to go speak to the city manager's office. We're going to figure this out. So you can close the door, but we'll be right back. Andrew. Uh, the, there you go. Close the door. Leave that open. There you go. Close the door, Andrew. Huh? Close your door, Andrew. No, close it. Close your mouth when you're talking to me. Close your mouth. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, that's, that's acceptable behavior by a public servant. That's acceptable behavior by a public servant. Yeah, we wanted to chat with you, but I don't want to interrupt your conversation. Oh, you can, that's okay. you finish. That's just our IT issue for today. Would any of your employees uh, tell me to get the fuck out, tell me I can't film, and then threaten to physically assault me and then invade my personal space in an aggressive and threatening manner? Mm -hmm. They wouldn't. What if I showed you a video that they did? <laughs> and then, then we've got a problem. Uh, Andrew's going to be out of a, a job, so let's figure out how we deal with that. Um, so the city manager is whom? We have the, you met him. The oh, acting. he's the acting city manager. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's, it's probably surprising that that just happened. Behavior like that, not, is that con that's not condoned by the city, is it? No, it shouldn't happen for any office. Right. Right, you understand. Public yeah. comes to Right, it's just, it's just, you know, communication. We get I'll throw you the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. Is it, it's not, doesn't, that's not... Probably professional, right? He was calling the cops yeah. too. He said, yeah, yeah call, he's calling the cops. That's what normally happens. See, the last city official that 
did his type of behavior and then engaged in threatening behavior assault, called the cops on themselves, and then they got uh, arrested. So we'll go, we'll go chat with him. Thank you for being so nice. I yeah, appreciate it. So we heard that you're you're the acting acting guy. Uh, I am the acting city manager. Yes. And I had a question for you. Would would any of your employees uh, tell us to get the fuck out that we can't fucking film, and then offer to fucking throw me out, and then come within inches of my face to try and physically intimidate me? And I would hope not, but I have no idea at this point. No. Um, I would hope not. And if they did, I apologize for that. Yeah, let's, 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 let's take a look. So we, we watched the video. Feedback on his behavior? Well, I certainly apologize on his behalf for that behavior because that's not something that we would expect. Well, it's wrong. Well, I, obviously, to. you understand that it's wrong. And, you know, you're doing what a, a boss and a politician does. You're, but my apology, an apology to me would come from Andrew. Because Andrew's, you know, if, if I did something wrong and someone apologized for me, I wouldn't learn a lesson. I'm kind enough in the fact that I'm not pursuing this in a legal matter. At this point, I'm just willing to take his job or an apology. Um, and and uh, you know, for the people that don't apologize, I do follow through. Um, so if he's willing to apologize for his behavior, then I will not submit a Freedom of Information Act request for him for his salary, his employment contract, his oath of office, his dates of employment. I will not file a complaint on him, and I will not take his job from him. Would you allow me to go speak with him? Before? Absolutely, and I and I'm sorry. Like off, off I know I'm I'm a little upset. My my well, my my level of aggravation has nothing to do with you. So please don't take that as an affront to yourself. You've been doing yeah. a great job. But if he's willing to apologize, then then I'll be happy to just wait in the hallway. You can go speak to him. I'll wait for you to come back. It's okay. no problem. I would appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. Of course. So we'll just wait in the hallway over here. He can go down the hallway and talk to Andrew and see if Andrew would like to apologize for his, his poor self-restraint and poor representation of his town that pays him. Or if he'd like to dig his heels in and we can go the complaint route and see if maybe we can help him out with a new employment. It's so unfortunate that they resort to foul language and threats of violence and threats of calling the police and, and you know, literally just the public coming in to observe the public officials in the course of their duty. Yeah. And it's not their office. It's not their, their building. Yeah. It's not their business. It's the public's business. I agree 100%. And I told you Maine was bad. You know, yeah. most of the... And we've had a couple good videos and, like, you know... We are just, we're jovial, we're fun, we're joking around with people. You know, even when we're investigating something as uncomfortable for them about their boss being unprofessional, we kind of do it in a, a fun manner right. so, so they can watch it, maybe comment, but not feel like they're, you know, they're under a fire for it. And then you have people that, that act like that. You know, it's, it's an absolute affront to everything that this building stands for. Puts a black eye on all the people who have been very friendly and very professional. Yeah, yeah. But generally, when the school Hello, is dear. Clear, and if there's one person like that, there are more. Yeah. It usually comes from the top down too. And I wonder what the uh, yeah the what probably the, comes from this guy right here. You know, it definitely comes from I mean, him. We, we well, saw it. We, we heard it. We saw. He said video. he likes to be to be violent, and right. then someone under his. Under his regime, right. he wants to get violence. That makes sense. It it's learned behavior, I guess you'd say. He's not available. He's in Florida filming TikTok videos, so he can't figure it out right now. Possibly suggesting violence in other people. I hope not. Sandcastles can be intimidating. Yeah, sandcastles can be. Especially when you have the little duckies. Or if the moat collapses, who knows? Who knows? After what his State of mind would be the most classes in the same. I'm betting he digs his heels in. Probably. Yeah. I'm betting he digs his heels in. Yeah. The city manager is very professional. Let's see if he yeah. follows through, though, because there's politicians who play nice with the cameras, of course. And of course. Who are they really? You know? Yeah. And we'll see from the outcome of this experience today. 
I mean, see, the people forgive. You know, they see this type of behavior, and we saw it in, in Sacco. Um, the, the employee acted terribly, went nuts, and we offered him the same opportunity, and he apologized. And Sacco didn't want us to publish the video. They're like, we're going to get so much negative feedback. And they got overwhelmingly positive feedback because it's not sometimes about the fumble, it's about the recovery. He right. did something wrong, and he went out of his way to recognize that it was a, an improper behavior, and he made amends for that behavior. And he was extremely sincere. Extremely you, you, you sincere. can tell when someone say, okay, I'm going to apologize, I don't want to lose my job. But he seemed, you know, heartfelt sincere. Yeah. 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 Let's see how this, how they play this. You know, just do the right thing or do yeah. the political thing. Yeah. Gentlemen? So you've met Mr. McPherson. We have. Hello. Yes. Well, just going to apologize. Sorry I got agitated. So. No. Now, let me ask you a fair question. And, and I want you to be honest because I appreciate honesty more than anything else. Would you have apologized, or is it more, are you doing it because you're concerned that your job might be at risk? Or are you apologizing because you think that you did something wrong? No, I guess I did something wrong. I wish I, you guys had identified yourself a little better, but I had no idea who you were. And I appreciate now it. Now I do know who you are, so I apologize. And that, that takes a big, a big person, a big man. Absolutely. I have, I'll tell you one thing, when I do something wrong, I have a really hard time admitting it. And I'll probably linger on it a little bit because I'm... I'm a human being. It, it takes more to do that. So I thank you. I appreciate it. And I was just explaining to him, it's not always about the fumble, but sometimes the recovery. And I think maybe we got off on the wrong foot and the, my viewers saw maybe a skewed view of you. They can see now that you're a public servant that accepts his responsibility and is, and is open to discourse. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks very much for chatting with us. Thank you. Have a good day, man. Have a great thank new you. year. You too. Yeah, I can tell you he's an excellent, um, an excellent city for you. Maybe you're having a bad day. But and as we all do. That's why I always, some people, they like to, it makes a much better viral video if we call the cops and we get the guy yeah. fired. But that doesn't do anything to help your reputation or to help the cause that we're trying to further. We'd like to create discourse so we can implement change. Sure. And, you know, like it's... Well, we're open. You know that. I mean, I think every, we haven't had any issue with anybody else. No, and I think that there's a, a seat that you should be running for besides the office that you're in now. I know you can't comment. But I'm just saying that I think that your leadership today, your ability to coach, resolve, problem solve, and use your resources to try and make everyone walk away happy. You know, there's never been a war where there was a treaty where every side walked away no, happy. Sure. And you were able to, to do that today. I think that the city of Waterville should really investigate finding a different office for you. And I'll just leave it at that. I appreciate that. I like where I'm at. <laughs> We we'll got a big, manager. a big, a big picture of you with minks wearing a crown on. <laughs> I'm, I'm the acting city manager. Hopefully, once they hire a permanent city manager, then I'll go back to being the assistant, okay. which is where I like to be. I like working on projects and doing that type of thing. So, well, but I appreciate that. Waterville's lucky to have you, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, very. You have a great day. All right. Thank you well. so much. Take care. And definitely be careful. We had did have them address the ice out there, but with the way this weather is today, it's Maine. It know? freezes yeah. in ten seconds. Exactly. Exactly. And I know that. It's just I'm more upset by, and I'm honest, I'm more upset by Joe's behavior. So it's much like, and I want, you know, his employees to kind of see it. And I know that you, and, and it was unfair of me to, to ask you a, a politically relevant question when you're sitting in a city office. Because I kind of know that before asking that it's a rhetorical question because you really can't answer. But it wasn't so much to put you in a corner. It was more so to make you aware. Because, like, the employee, the, the young lady that works in the office over there, she had no idea. And I played the video and I said, would you feel comfortable about playing around your kids? I just want people to be aware that um, there is a modicum of, of professionalism, I think, that we expect from people that hold office. And of course, you know, I think probably part of what makes him him is his human side, his demeanor, his personality. And we just have to, it was really uncomfortable to see a picture of him posing as like a, a king. And and that's, yeah. that's, but that, that's him. That's on him. That's, that's on him. you. He's, and he's got a great personality, and he loves the city of Waterville, and he really does. Um, he, he, he tries to do whatever he can to make it a better city. He really does. Maybe when he comes back, um, <clears throat> and we can get your email address, you can speak with uh, Leroy. I mean, he's renowned at doing investigative journalism and, and interviews, and maybe the mayor would 
uh, feel comfortable sitting down and speaking to him at some point. Or we can, I can shoot you an email, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. My email's just, that's on the city website. Sure, that'd be awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, awesome. I really appreciate your professionalism. Can I shake your hand, man? Oh, absolutely. Thanks very much for a job well done. Take care. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, very good. Very good. Very you as well. I appreciate you. Thank you. Hopefully it'll be warm up. And turn I'm going to, uh, yeah. even if I slip, I'll come back in with a full body cast, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks very much. That's, that's all it is, guys. Listen, if a mistake happens, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone's human. Um, the thing that we need to do is make sure that we can accept that behavior. Yes, that guy could lose his job very quickly. Um, but what, what lesson did he learn? You know what I mean? He goes into the private sector and he's miserable the rest of his life. Would rather him have the opportunity to apologize, recognize that he was wrong. And since we were inside, they immediately came outside and iced the ground. So... I don't know about the mayor, but his employees are doing the right thing for the most part, and that's the reason we stopped here today.